human beings should live on more places than just Earth, and we want to see that happen in our lifetime. The way we currently put things in space is by building them on Earth, putting them into a rocket, and then launching them. Um, surprisingly enough, only about 1% of a rocket, when you see it on the launch pad, is the thing that we want in space. Launch vehicles can only pack so much material and so much volume into a launch fairing. So the reason that we actually haven't been able to make it out into space as a species is because of the price. We said, what if we didn't have to launch anything at all? And that's what we've been spearheading, is to figure out how to create new technology that makes it a lot easier to manufacture up in space. Made in Space is a space manufacturing company. So we're sitting here thinking, all right, we see all these benefits of space, but how do you actually get something there? It's not accessible. So uh, we're looking at all the different types of technology that might actually be able to impact that, and that's when 3D printing back in 2010 was just starting to get to a point where it made sense. Uh, we started looking into the technological feasibility of could you actually get one of these 3D printers to work in space? Um, but we were able to actually iterate through and develop the technology to make it actually work. Our main goal is to bring manufacturing to space. Arconaut is a uh, in-space additive manufacturing assembly robotic capability. Um, so with Arconaut, you can take material and produce structures and then assemble those structures and assemble things to those structures and build assets uh, in orbit. We're actually sitting in the mission control room for the 3D printers that we have in space. So from this room, we control our robotic manufacturing devices that are up on the International Space Station, 3D printing things for the astronauts, uh, for all kinds of organizations around the planet. Come into this room uh, with a flash drive and plug it into our computer, and we upload the information to the 3D printers and then we print it out. So this is like a digital launch complex and there's only one place in the world that you can do what we do here. So to me it's really exciting. Our team at Main Space and our partners at NASA have worked really hard to really build the first tools and parts off of planet Earth and pretty soon that'll grow to thousands and grow into larger and bigger structures. We can grow industry in space and make things there and then sell them on Earth or sell them you know, one day on Mars or on the Moon. What we do is we start to build this economy that depends on activity going to and from space. So that became like really important to us to understand what would that look like. In doing that, what we've really come to understand is that industry will naturally start to transition into space. We can easily like turn the tides on the path we've been on since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution of changing our environment by creating this new paradigm of industry. I think one day we'll look back at Earth and we'll see it as like a place to protect. Once we start to see that happen, it will be like just this obvious fact that space is like a critically important part of how we as humans evolve.